smart contract of the month. We've arrived again, once again, at the SCOTM, horrible acronym, great section. I'm going to keep it a bit more succinct this time so we can get into organic conversation quicker. I know we missed out on a hyperchains update last month. Um, so this smart contract of the month, it's a super simple little utility. I know I've had some behemoth contracts in the past just to almost demonstrate that a large contract can be boiled down to uh, simple functions. Well, a small contract can also be boiled down to simple functions. This is Send Many Memo. It's been one of the most popular smart contracts on the blockchain over the last few months, and it only has four functions. Take a look at them right there. They're looking real good. So, like I said, it's simple, just four functions. I can't even count probably 20, 30 lines of code there, uh, but it is powerful. It's a utility for transferring stacks tokens on the network, uh, which seems like a simple operation. But what if you want to send to multiple people or a whole batch of, of recipients who are getting airdropped because um, they're supporting an NFT project or something of that nature? So, what this uh, contract does is it transfers stacks tokens using three variables. One of the variables is the amount denominated in U stacks. I always forget what fraction U stacks is. I think it's a thousandth of a stack potentially. <laughs> and um, a principal, which is the address of the recipient, and a 32 byte buffer memo. Strings and text in Clarity is uh, handled as a certain length byte buffer. And in this case, the memo of the stacks transfer transaction is a 34 byte buffer type of that. Um, so just those four functions kind of interplay to make the transfer happen. There's a link there to uh, the contract in the Stacks Explorer. But if you just scroll through transactions in the Explorer, you're going to stumble across this uh, contract because there's a send many memo function call a couple times an hour. People are using it a lot. Uh, you can see on this graph of activity over the last month on the network um, that it uh, was kind of like the number two contract most of the time, uh, number one a lot of the time, but Arcadico Stacker had a big spike there, spike there on the 19th. So what does it do? Like I said, it transfers stacks, but this the contract is just kind of what's going on under the hood. It's the front ends and the websites that leverage the smart contract and connect to the blockchain that kind of allow it to fly and really be leveraged by users. So this contract is used by the Send Many application developed by Frieger. It's just a little tool online that you connect your Hero Wallet to and kind of gives you a more beautiful, accessible front end for transferring stacks um, better than doing it from the command line um, and gives you a little bit more functionality than if you were to do it just from the hero wallet because you can send to multiple people. This is kind of what the front end looks like. Um, the next one has a little bit more granular front end. Uh, you enter in multiple addresses that you would like to send to, the amount you want to send to them. Then this is that memo field uh, denominated in a 34 byte buffer like I was talking about. You can add as many recipients as you want, as the UI will allow. And then it packages up an argument to send to that smart contract that executes the transfers. So this, uh, the forms that I entered here, the addresses, the amounts, and the memos are translated into that argument on the right. It's a map of recipients. And the map contains tuples with those three pieces of information, the wallet address, the amount of view stacks, and the memo. The UI converts it for you. So in the form, you're entering just stacks. So I did 0.1 stacks, but everything in the smart contract is done with U stacks. Another cool part of this smart contract is it has post conditions, which are kind of checks after the fact to make sure the contract is doing what it's supposed to. So since I uh, um, stipulated three transfers of 0.1 stacks here, that makes a post condition that this uh, transaction cannot transfer a, more or less than 0.3 stacks. Um, so there couldn't be some attack vector in the middle of the transaction or the UI that allows someone to change my transaction and jokes on me, I'm actually transferring 10,000 stacks. That would not be good. Tearing into the contract a little bit, um, like I said, it's 
pretty basic, but um, perform some important functionality. Uh, we're going to walk through the four functions right now. The first one is send stacks with memo. It's the one that I called with that UX um, because I am uh, including a memo with the recipients in the amounts. It also attempts a stacks transfer um, using that amount. And uh, TX sender is the person sending the transaction that allows it to be executed. And two is the recipient of that transaction. It also gives some feedback about a successful transaction by printing out a memo. The next function is send stacks. Uh, it passes in that recipient map, all of the addresses that are receiving stacks, and then pulls the correct recipient for the individual transfers. And just like all the other functions, it takes the use stacks amount, the principal, and the memo. Over here, I loaded the contract into the sandbox, and this is what it would look like if you were just calling the functions from the Explorer sandbox. Just those three fields are required. Then the two other methods are check error, super simple function for returning a Boolean, and that Boolean will either be true or false based on if the information you provided is clean and valid, the addresses exist, um, there's enough uh, stacks in your wallet to fund the transfers, all of them have valid memos, et cetera, et cetera. And send many is... Uh, pulling the map of recipients and then checking for errors using that check error function. And you can see it folds the check error function. I had to look up fold. Fold is simply condensing a sequence of values into a specific type and then applying an operation to that type. So it's pulling uh, the tuple of a recipient from that map. It's getting their wallet, the amount of stacks they need and the memo. And then it's kind of uh, using the check error function and folding into uh, that tuple. And that is all I got for a short and sweet smart contract of the month. Um, as always, I would encourage you guys to hop on the Stacks Explorer and try it out yourself. It's super simple. I was doing those transfers on mainnet with, with 0.1 stacks, so just daddy fat stacks over here, testing out smart contracts for this call. Um, really, uh, really powerful functionality. Um, yeah, you can, Bob and Alice can send stacks back and forth all they want. But once we get into the super rigorous um, uh, operations and transfers where projects are trying to airdrop rewards to entire user bases, um, um, more complex uh, features like that, a uh, contract like send many memo will be really valuable to developers.